Well, when they hear about the tree houses, they really don't know what to expect. They think that you're going to climb a rope ladder and uh, you're going to have a, you know, a board up in a branch and maybe a can of peanuts or something, and <laughs> it's going to be a little weird. Tell us about what your inspiration was to build this. For many years, I've worked on environmental issues, and sometimes you go home at night and you say, I want to see what I've accomplished. Building something that really, to me, says something about our relationship to the environment was very important and satisfying. The way most pe people build something is they tear all the trees down, they level the land, and they build whatever they want from scratch. In this case, we had seven trees to think about. They were an integral part of what happened out here, and they were going to have a lot to say about how it went. How did you ultimately come up with this design? There were three things I wanted to do. I wanted to be able to sleep out here at night. I wanted to be able to look up at this amazing tree and have people hang out out here. And I wanted a place where we could actually have a meeting. We've been very careful how we've attached tree houses to the trees. They're attached by pins and brackets, so the beams are not actually attached right to the trees, so they won't rip apart, tear apart. And just some neat, neat features. I mean, the railings and the doors and, yep. and everything. Uh, these are old recycled uh, doors from a restaurant in Buckhead. Um, and uh, just old spindle windows that we'd find either on the street or in a flea market or a salvage place. Everything that we could find uh, that we could put into a treehouse that might work, that's, that's, the right, that's the route we want. I mean, what's it like? Basically, it seems like you're living in the jungle in the middle of a concrete jungle. We're very close to anything in the middle of Atlanta, um, and yet we've got this little, uh, we call it our in-city retreat. It's very important to have some place in your life that's a bit of a retreat from everything that's going on in your life, that you can just sit and just hear the birds and not feel that um, there's all these alarms and electronics and uh, other objects and instruments calling for your attention all the time. My personality has changed out here. I mean, I was a pretty frantic guy. You know, I was busy all the time and working, and I'm more focused. Uh, I'm more calm. Uh, it just it just it just kind of lowers your blood pressure. Out here. That's what it is. Okay, work's over. Time for a little rest and relaxation. For Forecast Earth, I'm Mike Bettis.